Welcome to Body Bags. I'm your Thursday reviewer, Chris, from Chris B Movies. You know my name is Chris. You know I love B Movies, and I like B Movies just like Limbo. I'm going to talk a little bit about Limbo right here. There are movies that are big on narrative and big on visuals. We definitely like those films. There are films that are just big on narrative and not so big on visuals. And I don't mind those films. There are films that are not big on narrative and big on visuals. Limbo. And I kind of like this one. This thing was trippy and psychedelic at, at all get out. Um, but it was more about the visuals in this film, not much about the narrative. Uh, girl goes to a bar. Um, and she's probably the best actress in this film. Along with Tina Krause, who plays the waitress. And she's a good actress. And Tina's a good actress, but everybody else sucks. And I, I think they, they found the most obnoxious people in the world. Put them in a bar and said, just be yourselves. Because they are some of the most obnoxious people you will ever meet in bars, you know? <laughs> obnoxious. People you just don't want to be around. Negative people. Guys talking about what they're going to do to women, but don't have a chance in hell with certain women. Uh, yeah. You know, you know, stuff in that nature. There are characters in this film that you see and you follow, and then all of a sudden you never see them again, and you kind of wonder what happened to them. But all centers around this one woman who enters into a bar. She sees visuals. She sees very dark people telling their dark things and telling her that her future may not be so bright. She meets this guy, and um, they start getting on the bar, and then she's like, why don't you come home with me? And after one night stand, she kills the guy, and then, spoiler alert, she slowly starts descending into hell. Maybe she's alive through all this, but maybe she's dead and doesn't know it. Hint, 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 hint. And that's all I'm going to say about this film, because this film is not a bit big on narrative. It's about visuals, you know? It's like going to a rave party. It's like David Lynch working with Nine Inch Nails on a music video. That's what this film looks like. <laughs> Even says it on the back, and it's 100% correct. If you ever go into a rave with all the colors and lights and taking some drugs, ecstasy, some of the things you would see at that moment, you're going to see in the film Limbo. But this is uh, Tina Krause's project, um, artistic project. And, you know, she had um, something artistic to say within the context of this film. You know, this is her pet project. And uh, if you know Tina Krause, she was in films like Camp Blood 666 and Nikos the Impaler. You probably see her in those films as well as many other films because she has a big resume. She was in a lot of films. And, you know, she I think she's really big on David Lynch. You could see that. Maybe Stan Brackage a little bit. Um, really into psychedelic films and wanted a simple narrative but with a whole lot of interesting visuals that she wanted to experiment with with camera and what have you. And I think the scenes where she really um, showed her artistic edge in showing uh, visuals with beautiful color schemes and darks being dark and illuminating lights being illuminating and fun and really cool characters um, that don't speak, that are just like creatures within the context of the film and the creatures that maybe she dreamt of when she maybe dreamt of going to hell or something. I don't know. You know, we see, we all see heaven and hell differently. I think a lot of people who are Christians see heaven a certain way, Catholics see it a certain way, Buddhists may see it a certain way, or what have you. Um, and people see hell a certain way. You know, what's your vision of the devil, you know? What's your vision of what hell really is like? Some people feel we're living in hell now, you know? Whatever, what, whatever you feel, um, and that's what you feel. Um, you know, whatever you feel hell is, whatever you feel heaven is, whatever you feel this world is, you know, it's it's conceptual for some people, you know? People conceptualize. And I think Tina Krause just showed what maybe hell is like. Maybe you don't, people really don't know that they are dead when they do die. I mean, we, we really don't know. Um, you know, uh, death, I mean, that's... We don't know what death is like because we haven't been through it. Uh, we might have an idea. Um, and some people have died and come back, so they may have a better idea than others. Uh, but this is her idea of hell, basically. What hell looks like, and when people die, maybe they don't know they're really dead. Um, really interesting film, though. Um, I love the slipcover. Check that out. PGFA. I would definitely pick this one up. This is a film that's really good for multiple viewings. A lot of people have told me that, and this is my first time watching it. And like I say, I, I enjoy it. It's only 58 minutes. Um, and I think, you know, this is Tina Krause's vision of hell, basically. <laughs> uh, 
be a little rave party. And like I say, maybe if David Lynch and Nine Inch Nails got together and did a music video that was 58 minutes long, maybe this would be it. Limbo. Uh, amazing visuals. Really great film. Um, different film. Um, good shot in video film. The sound was terrible on this, though I had to blast, blast it all the way up. Um, and I... I I don't blame AJFA and Bleeding Skull. I think they did the best they could with what they had. The picture does not look so great. But I think this was a very damaged print. And I think they, they, just, they did the best they could. I don't think this film's ever going to look better. So I would highly recommend picking this one up. Um, I know that copies are getting low of the film with the slipcover. So if you like the slipcover, uh, I would definitely pick this up as soon as possible. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to put this one on the cheeseometer. 10 being the best cheese ever, 1 being the worst cheese, I give it a solid 7. You know, I did like the film, I give it a passing grade, and maybe after multiple viewings, I might enjoy it a lot more. But uh, I applaud Tina Kraus for showing her artistic vision within the context of this film, and maybe showing the world what she really feels hell truly is, and what death truly is. Um, fun film, and definitely someone's pet project that I think everybody should watch and check out. Thank you, Tina Kraus, for putting out Limbo. We really appreciate it. And we really appreciate your hard work in putting this film out. And, uh, Applaud AGFA and Bleeding Skull for doing the best job they could ever do on a film like this. Because um, it could have been a situation where we never would have heard of this film or seen this film. So I'm yeah. glad I saw it. And glad I purchased it. So purchase it at VinegarSyndrome.com on the partner labels of AGFA and Bleeding Skull. And that's it, guys, for this review. Um, tune in next week. Next week is theme week. It's going to be a powerful week and a fun week and a hilarious week as well. Hint, hint. And check out all the other reviews because we've got some big heavy hitters coming up with some great movies to review for you and maybe films that you might want to pick up. Kind of like Limbo, right? Don't be in Limbo. Maybe you want to buy Limbo. <laughs> and don't forget to check out those late night horror movies. Read up on your latest Fright Mags. But don't forget to tune in to another episode of the show we call Body Bags. Because trust me, we will never leave you in Limbo.